Hi, my name is Randy Shear, and I'm a technical curriculum developer here at Jitterbit. And I'm glad you could join me as we walk through the setup process for the NetSuite Magento Invoice to Fulfillment Process Template. First, I want to explain what a process template is. The Cloud Studio process templates are groups of pre-built integration use cases that accelerate the execution of a specific business process using numerous objects across multiple applications or systems. Process templates are designed to reduce the time to deployment by 50 to 80% and can be self-implemented, delivered by Jitter Professional Services, or delivered by implementation partner. For access to a template, contact your customer success manager. The NetSuite Magento Invoice to Fulfillment Process Template improves the speed and accuracy of creating your sales orders. This package solution of pre-built integrations connects data and processes between applications right out of the box, reducing integration efforts. Synchronize contact, account, and inventory items between systems. Automatically create a sales order once an opportunity closes. Connect your ERP and e-commerce systems quickly and easily with reusable integrations that speed implementation and streamline business processes. Now that we know a little bit more about this process template, let's begin with installing the process template. To install the process template, I'll need to log into the Jitterbit Harmony portal and open Marketplace. Marketplace is Jitterbit's new resource for searching and retrieving recipes and process templates to help you quickly create new projects. Once I find the appropriate template, I will first click on documentation to download the documentation guide for this process template. This documentation guide should be referenced frequently while using this process template. After the documentation guide finishes downloading, I'll click on start project. I will be directed to the create new project screen. This process template has multiple projects with specific names that should not change, but I can add a prefix name to help manage the multiple iterations of this process template. I will then select my proper environment because Jitterbit is capable of having multiple environments. Once all these steps are complete, I'll click Create Projects. After the projects are created, I can either go back to Marketplace or go on to Cloud Studio. I will continue to Cloud Studio, where I will find my newly created projects. There are five projects in total with my prefix followed by the name of each project. It is important to run each project in the proper order as listed in the documentation guide. After importing the projects, I'll open the first project listed in the documentation guide. Each project has its own independent set of project variables. To set the value of these variables, I will go to the project variable list by clicking the action menu icon, which are the three dots at the top of the project pane. I will then select project variables from the drop-down menu. Then set or modify the values as appropriate. When I am done entering the appropriate values, I will click the X at the top, which will take me back to the project. There is a list of variables that need to be changed in the supporting documentation guide. With all the appropriate variable settings applied, I click the X at the top, which took me back to the project. Prior to running any of the project's operations, I need to open each of the connections, both NetSuite and Magento, and test the connections to confirm that the supplied credentials work with each endpoint. First, I will check NetSuite to see if the connection is successful. To do this, I will double click on the NetSuite connector and scroll down to the bottom where I see the button called Test. When that button is clicked, it will take all the variable settings I used in the last step to see if there is a successful connection to my specific NetSuite connector. If it was successful, I will see a green message saying connection success. If it was not successful, I will get an error message. I see that my connector is set up correctly and I will click the X at the top and do the same thing for the Magento connector. Now it's time to start triggering the proper workflow in the proper order. It is important that I install, configure, and test the connectors of all the projects listed in the documentation guide. Once this step has been completed, I can deploy and run each project in the proper order as listed in the documentation guide. If you have any questions, please check out the information located at Success Central by going to success.jitterbit.com. 